In this video, I'm going to show a select operation within the data operation action. So I'm in Power Automate. I click on New Step and I type in Select. At the moment I type in Select, I will be shown with an option under Data Operation. Now, if I click on the information icon over here, it says Select Specified Properties from all elements of the from array into a new array. So as per this description, it says that it needs an uh, an array, okay, array of values, and then it will spit out into a new array. But that new array can be in a different shape or form, okay. Now, what do you mean by that, okay? Now, before we even do a select operation, we need to have some sort of a data ready. So first, let me click the select operation, and then I need from map value. And before that, I will take help of a compose action. Okay, so in compose, you know, we can have an array value. And this array value I have already uh, created beforehand. So I'll just paste this over here. Now, this is my array, okay? Now, what it contains is basically uh, an array contains of say four elements, one, two, three, four. And within that four element, I have an object of say, name Girish, age 100, location Australia, okay? Like that I have four items. So there are four items within an array and then each item has three uh, key value pair, okay? So this is what a complex scenario might look like. In select, what you need to do? You need to take the value from the from array. So now here, I will select the compose output so i've taken this output now here we can shape up the data now if you think that this is too much of information and you just want say maybe name and location okay so what you can do you can put key as a name and you want location okay and you can name it you know you can call location as a country okay you can do anything and you can put the name as maybe you want it as uh, say full name or something like that. You can do that. Here in the value, you can select from a dynamic value. Uh, say from compose, you can't get name and country. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to do some special operation. You can't make use of dynamic value. For that, you may need to use expression. Okay, in expression, under formulas, you can say item question mark and then the value. Okay, now that value is like we want full name, right? Which is name in the array. Okay, and I'll save this. Similarly, under country, uh, I want this location value. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a formula. Say item. That was location. Okay, so if I do that, save it, save this value, and uh, maybe I will add one more column. I'll call it as a combination of age and location. Okay, so I'm, I'm just shaping up the data in a different way. Okay, age dash location. So uh, I can again take the help of the formula so this is h okay this okay. us save it and i'll just put dash dash some four dash and here also i can put anything you know just to make similar and from functional i'll just copy here item and location okay so let's save this value so see what we have done over here is like if we are if we don't want to use the same source array we can shape up the data you know you can shape up the data in any shape or form provided it stays within the bound of this value okay we can make use of 
the first parameter name second age location and mix and match in any way what we want we can have one column or 10 columns or 100 columns and we can have say some static value as well so some say if i want to have some static value called status you know and i'll call that value as say open always you know uh, and then i will save this value let's see if this works okay so i'm just trying out Now it's saved. Let me give it a test. I'll just say test it manually and run the flow. Once you run the flow, let's see if this flow throws any error. It ran successfully. Under select, you can see now this was our input array, which was like four items, and one item has this object name, age, and location. If you see the output here, see the output. Now it has shaped uh, the data in such a way that it has taken our own format. So we have defined this format. We wanted this as full name. So it has taken that. We wanted country second. Okay, so we did that. We changed the label from location to country. And then we added our own format. And then we added our own column and the data. Okay, so if you see the raw output, it will be in this format. Okay, so basically what a select action does, it takes an input of an array and it will allow you to uh, change the schema of the data. Okay, but remember one thing, if your input has four record, your output will have four record. The schema may change. Okay, the schema we have changed. Okay, the schema may change, but the number of records will be the same. Okay, so that's what select us now in my next video i'm going to cover an another operation called as filter array now with that even if you want just say couple of items you will be able to do that okay so uh, watch out for that next video okay so that's all about select operations so in select you select a value you change the schema but the end result uh, the total number of rows will always remain the same as what it received it from the input parameter Thanks for watching.